Now Sharon and I are going to show you the two parts of the sideways bend in the chair, the two parts being the things that a practitioner can do for you or a friend can do for you if you've got someone to help you. So I'm going to hold the side of the chair as I did before. Sharon's going to come in. I'm going to roll myself down to the side as I did before and I'm going to pretend that I can't get this shoulder here into position over this one. So here's what Sharon can do to help me. She holds me in position like this and I then draw this shoulder forward in a contraction. Five, four, three, two, one. I stop, I breathe in. And as I breathe out, she uses her right hand to hold my bottom shoulder in position and then draws the left hand back, which takes the left shoulder back. And we get this kind of an effect. You can see that I'm in a perfect position now breathe in and out. This will be mostly an oblique stretch. Now for the second part of, the, of this stretch, this is what it looks like. We've got a cushion here to put on the leg so that her pressure on the leg to hold the leg down won't actually hurt me. And notice that she's got her shoulder almost directly above this hand. I, I repeat the, this part of the exercise. I breathe in. On a breath out, I go to the side like this is before, but now she's going to put her hand in position so that I can do a contraction in this direction to loosen obliques and QLs. So in this position here, I'm going to gently press back to her. Five, four, three, two, one. Notice that she didn't let me move at all. That's absolutely critical. I take a breath in and on a breath out, she helps me go a little bit further to the side like this while still holding this leg in position. And this will provide you with an excellent sideways bend. Now I can make this even stronger if I need to by again reaching this arm out like this and further off the body like this. That adds latissimus dorsi to the stretch and makes it considerably stronger. Also notice that I've got this foot well out to the side. If you don't do that, you're going to be pushed off the chair. So I get into this position here. I breathe in and out a few times. That feels fantastic. I roll the shoulder forward. We repeat as necessary. And then to come out, once again, I put the hand on the knee here like this. She takes her weight off me and I push myself back to the starting position. So let's show you those two elements from the other side and you follow along, please. Put the cushion back down on the floor. I just readjust my position. Hold this side of the chair. Lean slowly. Notice that I always move slowly. No, we'll do the... We'll do the this correction first. That's kind. I move to the side like this. I'm going to pretend that I can't get the shoulder back like this. She holds this shoulder in position. I pull the shoulder forward with a contraction. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. I take a breath in. As I breathe out, she helps me roll the shoulder back like this. Oh, it feels excellent. And then I try to go a little bit further to the side like so. And I breathe in and out, in and out. So that's the rotation part of that stretch. And then the second part is, ordinarily the practitioner would do this for you, but I'm helping her out. I'm just a helpful kind of guy. She's going to lean her weight on here. The cushion stops the leg from hurting, basically. I re-grip the chair like this, take a breath in, and on a breath out. Now you'll see this hip doesn't move because she's leaning on it. Go as far as I can to the side. And then she provides support with her other hand underneath my shoulder so that I can gently press directly back to her, which I'm doing now. Five, three, two, one. I stop, move this foot out a bit further. I take a breath in. And on a breath out, I very gently, and I'm doing all this myself, she's just following me. I gently lean further to the side. Following the contraction, of course, I can lean further to the side. Then on another breath in, I reach this arm up like this and then reach the arm off the body as far as I can in order to involve latissimus dorsi as well. Then the further movements of the stretch, I roll the top shoulder a bit further forward, she maintains that lean. I breathe a bit further forward, maintain the lean. Then at a certain point, the stretch disappears. The hand comes back to here. I lift myself up and have a bit of a wriggle around. And for me today, my lower back feels much better than before. Try it, you're going to like it.